Okay, please meet Tracy. She says her sister fell in love with the one man she shouldn't have, Tracy's husband. What? <laughs> your sister fell in love with your husband? What happened? Yes, sir, Jerry. My sister is a 100% bitch. My sister Chuck. Oh. What happened? She decided that she was going to go and borrow my car to see another man after me. he and I separated. And that How long have you been married? 12 years. I've been married 12 years. And you have children? Two children. Okay. So you separate from your husband at some point? Right. And we were trying to work things out being yeah. separated. And uh, she says, I need to borrow the car. I have a boyfriend. Well, my boyfriend was, the boyfriend was my husband. Do you want to be back with your husband? Um, as far as that's concerned, for my children, I would love to have my husband back for my children. Has your, has your sister, uh, did you have a bad relationship with your sister prior to all of this? No, me and my sister are really close. We've got, I've got tattoos on me. She's got the same ones on her. Her name's right here on me. Her name is right here on me. She's my, was my best friend. You're going to try to get rid of that tattoo? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> If I could cover it up right now, I would. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what happened today? Um, well, I was coming across there, and I'm in from Alabama. I've never seen snow before, and I saw them together, and I just snapped. I couldn't help it. I kind of... Yeah! 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 All right. Well, that's the, that's the tape that we have of you arriving at the studio this morning when you run into your sister. Let's take a look. Meet your sister now. Here she is, Tony. Oh. to say to you well, tell okay me. no matter what happens no matter what you do or what you say I'm here to get my family back You're for my kids Didn't you get cold out in the snow, dropping your pants? It, I, I've done it to her before. Okay, that was I've done a side it to her issue. Plenty of times. Okay. Uh, why would you do this? Your sister's married, two kids. Why would you, you know, okay, try to screw Jerry, up her life? Okay, Jerry, let me take. Can I take? Can I tell you the? 
Oh, you probably are too. You probably are too. All right, Jerry, can I tell you a story? Sure. Okay. It's just you and me. All right. I, I, I was living all my life. I was born and raised there. All right. I seen my sister right after I had my little girl. She come and she stayed some time with me. Well, she left and she moved here. Her and her husband worked together. Okay, she come and got me. She ain't took care of me for four years. I've helped her just like she's helped me. Yeah, but she's married okay? to this guy and I she has two so, kids. Why would you? So, Jerry, you know what? You know what? I don't care. It don't matter because they weren't together when I started dating him. And I love Brian. I'm going to be with Brian. I don't care what nobody says. And if they got something to say about it, then tell them to tell me. I don't care what. It's like this, Tony, okay? I gave you my home to live in. There, I turned my family, my mother, away because... I turned my wait, daddy away from you we've because got my daddy, daddy don't like you. My we daddy hates you. got the same daddy, Tony. I know we got the same daddy, okay? but he sure don't But I turned you. my family away to take up for you and give you everything I had. Everything. And what do you do? You take my husband from me. Because he don't want your skanking ass. My skanking ass? Yes, yeah, skanky. Because who you, you go with? Whoever will go with you, Tony. Oh. Let's meet him. Really Here's Brian. Look at you! What do, you want, what do you want to say to your husband? Brian, we have two children. We knew each other for six months, and we got married. And we stayed married for almost 12 years. We've got two babies. One lives with you, one lives with me. We are living in a motel room. My baby is not even going to have Christmas because you have chose her and our son. Not even Christmas. She doesn't even have a Christmas tree. I don't have a car to even go get a job to take care of that baby. I'm staying in a motel room with her. It's bitch Okay. Okay, now. Uh, what do let's hear from the husband? You, you, uh, you made your plea to him. Why don't you answer what she said? Okay, shh. Why would you be doing this? You're married 12 years to her. You have two kids. 
What happened? Excuse what do you want me, to say Jerry. To still married. Still married. Why still married. she could do something about it then? Because she ain't got no money. I won't give him. Because don't a... work. Well, I don't. Uh... I won't give him a divorce. I what do you want? What do you want to be saying? Let me uh, let me get this correct. What you're saying is that you want me back. You yes, want I do. To get back together. I want my marriage back. I want my family back. I don't see it working. I don't see where the trust is ever going to come from again. Um, we've been through this before, Tracy. Not one time, not two times, not three times, not four times, not even even five, six times. Okay, I don't know. Brian. I've lost count. Right, Seth, you know, I mean, look, I, I'm not around her two minutes here, and I'm ready to pull my hair out, and, and I can't afford okay, to lose Brian. no okay, hair Brian. up here. But I'm going to tell you something. You know? Our children deserve their parents, both of their parents, not their aunt and their daddy. Later Brianna daddy, will not come and see you because of it. My daughter is in a motel room with no Christmas, Brian, nothing, because I can't, oh. I cannot even get her. Because she won't uh, go to work. I am talking to him. Because she won't go to work. You bought your car exactly. that he bought you? You got, you got exactly. Megan's car. You got car Megan's he car. Bought you. you got everybody's car. <laughs> they me so I can't go naked whoop her. <laughs> Yes. Well, I can take that. You Thank know? You. There you go. She what? I got it back. Because he can afford to buy her a ring, but can't afford to buy his daughter Christmas. 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 You can't even buy your daughter Christmas or birthday, but you can buy her a ring. As always, you're talking things that you know nothing about. What? I'm not sure what happened. He asked you to marry him, and you said what? Why? Why Why does he ask me to marry him when he is married to my sister? Me and my sister were close. We were close for four years while I was with her. I helped her. She helped me. I'm not the only bad one here, okay? Mm. And, yeah, I love Brian, and I love Tracy. That's what the problem is. Why is it? Because she's my sister, and that's her husband? What am I to do? I'm torn between my family and the man that I love. Now, you tell me what to do. Well. And I'm not going to go off and marry him and not never have my sister again. So despite the fact that you're fighting with your sister, deep down you really love her? Oh, well, yes, and I know she loves me. I know she does, and I love, yes, I do. Sure. Well, if that's the case, and I understand the dilemma you're in, why wouldn't you say, look, as long as they're still married, no matter what feelings you have for him, as long as you're still married, that's really not the place for you to be. And it's not the place for him to ask you that. Just, you know, say, hey, you, you work things out with my sister one way or the other. And if one day you're totally free, then it's a different situation. But right now, you really are in the middle. That's why you're feeling the pain. I'll tell you what, come outside. Let's go back on the stage. And say what you just told me to your sister. No, she heard me. You heard that, right? <laughs> OK, you're right. She heard you. You know. This really took a twist. What she's basically saying to you is that deep down she loves you as a sister. I love my sister too, Jerry. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. I took care of my sister for, for five years, four years. I've taken care of her. I gave her my clothes off my back. What's going to happen? Look, this okay, is what's going to happen. Okay, she's saying no, she's not, she's not going to marry you. You two are still married. What's going to happen What's going to happen is, yes. honestly. You want him back. Are you saying yes or no? No. You're not going back. No. So you're not going back to her. She's not going back with you. You three are separated. All, you're all done now. No, I didn't say that now. What did you say? I can't go and live with my sister. She lives in a motel. Right. I wonder why. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not talking about where you guys live. Because you don't want to go work neither, Tracy. Asking... I can't. I have, I have no car. I have I no way to take care of my baby. Hey, hey, I got a break. I want to know. You two are finished as a romantic couple. Is that true? I'm not saying that. What are you saying? I thought back I there no, you said... No, I said I wasn't going to marry him, Jerry. Oh, but you'll still sleep with him. Yeah, well, yeah, if I want to. We'll be back. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Now, please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now, get out of my courtroom. You have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.